beautiful day outside. Had a great day yesterday. I'll start out, start out talking about yesterday and then we'll get into some of my embarrassing moments that I told you I was going to talk about today. So, um, yesterday was a good day. Stuck to my, my one meal a day diet. And so what I had was uh, yesterday when I went home, it was about 5.30 I had dinner. Um, I had a half, half a chicken breast with a serving of like rice pilaf. Um, and then I also had a ham sandwich. Uh, that might sound weird. Sounds weird to me. Um, but it was good. So, uh, you know, I don't... And that's, that's what I ate yesterday. There was no other... There was nothing else. Okay, that was it. I went through the day. No problems. I wasn't starving to death. I, you know, had a couple, you know, cravings, but not anything I couldn't curb with drinking some water. Um, so yeah, it was good. Um, last night I went to the gym. Was there about 45 minutes. Did my half an hour cardio and about 15 minutes of upper body. Um, what was cool was the gym I go to. Um, any, let's see, I go to Anytime Fitness, uh, and they, their uh, vending machine's been out of order for a while. I don't use it anyway, it's not a big deal, I don't care. Um, they got it, I think it, it's been out of order because they've been upgrading it, because the vending machine that's there now has a neat new feature, um, which I'm sure a lot of you have already experienced, but for me it's still kind of new or well, it's not new, I just I think I've been kind of afraid to use it, but I broke down and did. So the vending machine has Apple Pay. I thought, okay, we'll give it a shot. Granted that the protein shake that I bought, which I am allowed to have after I work out, about 200, I, 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 let's see, 200 to 300 calories is what I try to allow for a protein shake after a workout. So anyways, it was four bucks. Holy crap! Uh, that's a lot of money for a protein shake in my book. So had to do it, had to try it. So bought the protein shake. It sucked. Uh, I, it was supposed to be chocolate, and it tasted kind of like what I think a tire would taste like after you drove through the mud. But nonetheless, apple pays cool. So just it was good as far as uh, exercise and dieting. Um. Let's see. <clears throat> We're going to talk about what's embarrassing or what was embarrassing to me, what is embarrassing to me, and what I think a lot of obese people have issues with. Um, so, one of the big things that embarrasses me is when I go to, there's a lot of things. And honestly, I, I sat down, I started making a list, and the more I thought about it, the more things I came up with. Um, but one of the biggest things that embarrasses me and has made me not do it since was actually when I first met my wife when I was 19 years old. You know, I wasn't anywhere near 500 pounds, but I was still big enough that I went to get on a, a carnival ride with her. It was a roller coaster, and I didn't fit. So... That's really embarrassing me, embarrassing to me, going to places and not fitting in something. Um, another example is a place here in town called Menards has kind of like the turnstile. You walk through it and it clicks to count the number of people that go through it. Well, up until a month ago, I didn't really fit through those. And right next to it is a gate for handicapped people in wheelchairs um, or elderly people in their carts. And I had, I'd have to open that and use that. And that's, that's embarrassing to me. Um, another big one is the seat belts in the car. Uh, I, I'm fine with, you know, using a belt extender with myself. I don't have to do that anymore. But a lot of the times I didn't take it with me or I just, I just didn't wear a seat belt. And it's embarrassing when you get pulled over by a cop and, you know, your excuse is I'm too fat to fit in the seatbelt. I mean, that just sucks. Um, and it's even worse when it's a female cop. It's kind of hot. So, yeah. Uh, same lines is when you're at work and you're using a company vehicle. This has happened to me. Um, 
you know, people are on edge as it is because of your size, just being cautious with what they say. But then you can see the look, like, are you going to put your seatbelt on? No? Not going to happen? Okay. Probably because you're too fat. Yeah. And that's what it is. I, you know, there was a lot of times where <clears throat> I probably was literally breaking a company policy um, because I didn't wear the seatbelt because it did not fit. And I either didn't think to bring the, the belt extender or I just didn't want to wear it. So, uh, along the same lines with seatbelts, airplanes. Airplane seatbelts were always probably the smallest seatbelts for, you know, if you compare it to cars and other things. Even if you fit in a car seatbelt at its fullest, you know, being extended fully, chances are the, the airplane seatbelt wasn't going to fit you. And they do have extenders on the planes. But it's really embarrassing when you have to ask the flight attendant, again, usually a pretty female, for a seatbelt extender. And then they forget, and you have to ask them again, and then they forget again, and you have to remind them that you're fat, and ask them again. It gets embarrassing. So, there are so many things. Um, so, probably, <laughs> butt crack. Butt crack, butt crack, butt crack for days. That's all there is to it. I don't care what clothes you get. I don't care what steps you take to prevent it. You're going to be showing butt crack. So, bend over, and there it is. That's all there is to it. Um, I had long shirts. I had higher pants. I had belts. I had suspenders. And there was always crack. So, not so bad now. Still a little bit of an issue, but it's getting better, you know. Um, I think another reason... For that is this next one and that's belly shirts and I'm not talking about intentionally purchasing a shirt that's a belly shirt I'm talking about every shirt you own no matter what size what length is a belly shirt your stomach is so big that the length of the shirt doesn't doesn't account for <laughs> the roundness of your belly and also your shirt walks up your stomach that's all there is to it. I don't care what anybody else says. You can have a shirt down to your knees. By the end of the day, that shirt has walked up your stomach and has exposed the bottom 6 to 12 inches of your gut. Um, I don't know. Maybe someone needs to invent shirt weights or something. Or people should lose weight, which is what I'm doing. So, No more belly shirts for me. Actually, that's I haven't had that problem for a while. Uh, at least a couple months. Uh, my stomach is really not flattened but it's gone down a lot as far as how far it sticks out um, and even the shirts that I had that, that I wasn't comfortable wearing because they were too short I can wear now so that's it's kind of nice what I mean it sucks they're way too big now also because you know shirts aren't made with you know a big bump in the front they're made pretty much straight and maybe out a little bit but once you lose some of that stomach that shirt is just gigantic even if it fits you in the shoulders so clothes are just not made well for people that are obese and I'm not advocating that they should be but there should be something I mean even if I mean, even people that are trying to lose weight deserve to feel comfortable everybody deserves to feel comfortable so maybe they need to just redesign some of these clothes but hopefully I don't ever have to worry about that again <coughs> um what else embarrasses me what so, I guess what embarrasses me is embarrassing other people also. Family members, friends, my kids. Um, there was a time where my kids, I could tell they didn't want to, to be seen in public with me. My daughter didn't want to go to a, to a, a daddy-daughter dance, which, that bugs me. You know, I, I understand she's a little kid and it's embarrassing. And I'm not saying it bugs me she didn't want to go. It bugs me that I I was at the point to where she didn't want to go because of my size. And that's, you know, that's something that I missed out on and I made her miss out on. Because now she'll never get to experience that. Um, and I just, 
stuff like that really that gets to me all the family stuff gets to me okay so the last one I'm going to talk about is <laughs> scales so for the longest time I've had to weigh myself on a commercial shipping scale that goes up to several thousand pounds I, I don't know what it is but you know it's literally a six by six square it's a giant scale and it's not exactly private you know there's it's out in the middle of a shop floor where everybody's working so I'd have to come in at three in the morning on a Sunday to weigh myself and it just someone would walk by and I'd hop off real quick because I was embarrassed that I was on there and I didn't want someone to see my weight and I'm low enough now on my weight I'm below four so that I can actually get it I mean there are scales I couldn't afford them um, but now I have one that I could afford and it kinda sucks but it works for the most part it's, it's pretty close so yeah, I'm sure there's a ton of other things that I'm not thinking of that embarrass me, um, but those are the biggest ones that have to do with my size, and yeah, so uh, if you think of anything that embarrasses you or maybe something you think embarrasses people who are larger and other people don't understand that, go ahead and feel free to comment, um, well, anybody should feel free to comment, ask questions, but yeah. It's not easy being big, and it's sad that some people ridicule and degrade those that are, especially since a lot of us don't want to be this way. So try to remember that if you're watching this and you, you see a bigger person. They just want to be respected and have a little self-respect, so do what you can. Anyways, that's it for me on this video. So like always, remember, if you need help, you just gotta ask.